Hello everybody and welcome to Amateur Astronomy and Storm Chasing. I'm Garrett and first off I'd like to wish everybody a Happy New Year's. I hope you all had a good time celebrating last night. So here we are in 2018 and we're starting it off in a big way. Tonight we're going to attempt to photograph the supermoon that just so happens to fall on New Year's Day through my Skywatcher Dobsonian telescope. We're going to be shooting it with my Canon Rebel T5i and attaching it to the telescope so that maybe we can pick up on some fine details and hopefully get a good picture. Now we're going to attach the camera to the telescope with this T-ring. Essentially what this T-ring does, it attaches to the camera just like any other lens would. And inside of this T-ring here, it's threaded so that you can mount the camera directly to the telescope. And you just simply screw it on. And once you get it on, you can adjust it with these two thumb screws here to get it set just how you want it. So what makes a supermoon super? A supermoon is a full moon occurring at the same time as perigee. Perigee is the point in the moon's orbit that it is closest to Earth. When these two things coincide, the moon appears somewhat larger and brighter than a normal full moon, making it a supermoon. Alright, now that the moon is actually out where we can see it, we'll go ahead and start lining up our shot here. As you can see here, I've got the moon in the frame of the camera, and as I move the telescope around, the moon will move around in that frame. So now we'll have to sit here and work on our settings and everything, making sure that we'll get a proper shot of the moon. You can see here I can adjust the ISO, it brightens up and it darkens the moon. We'll go with 100 because it's pretty bright. Now we'll adjust our shutter speed here, and as you can see, the faster the shutter is, the darker the shot of the moon will be. So now, let's go ahead. That looks alright right there. And now we'll sit here and get things in focus. And you just use the focusing knob on the telescope itself to actually get the moon into focus. Alright, now that we've got everything lined up, let's go ahead. Make sure the moon's in the center of the frame. I've got a little nifty remote right here, so I don't have to touch the telescope, so that it's not shaking or anything. So I'll go ahead and take a picture. And there's the picture. Now that last shot was a little bright. Speed it up just a little bit more. Now we're getting somewhere. And of course, after we get our picture taken here, we'll go inside and we'll we'll sharpen it up a little bit in Photoshop. Throw a little bit more contrast into it. So that is my shot of the New Year's Day Supermoon 2018. So thank you everybody for your time and I hope you enjoyed.